Here's a quick tutorial on how to use the Live Tracker. Simply tap Game On to launch the Live Tracker. When you first launch the tracker, notice the Stat Category buttons are grayed out. This is to prevent unintended data entry if your player is not on the ice. Tap the On Ice button to start the ice time clock. When your player's shift is over, tap Bench. OK, back on the ice. Now, with the buttons activated, you can record shots on goal. Note that you could subtract from your total in the event you need to make a correction. When your player scores a goal, choose the type of goal using the picker. Skater Stats stores this information over your career and uses it to calculate plus minus. Additionally, a shot on goal is tallied, a point is added, and shooting percentage is updated. If your player's team scores a goal or gets scored against, you'll be asked to choose the type of goal here as well so Skater Stats can calculate your player's plus minus on the fly. Tap the Assist button to register an assist for your player. Note that a point is automatically added to your player's total for the game. When your player gets a penalty, tap the Penalty button and choose the length of infraction. If multiple infractions occurred, simply tap it again to tack on additional minutes. At any point, you may clear the counters by tapping Reset, which brings up a confirmation dialog. Tap Save to assign this game to a previously created skater or make a new one right now by tapping the plus sign. Here is an overview of your player's performance for the game you just recorded. At this point, tap the Edit button to enter a final score or make any corrections. Tap the blue arrow to modify the opponent or date. Tap Done when you are finished editing. Thanks for watching. You can follow Herring Software on Twitter or become a fan on Facebook.